Welcome my friends into a video that I wanted to do for a long time, but I haven't been able to. So here it is today. I am comparing the Dyson Air Wrap curling system or hair system not necessarily just curling to the Fent Go, which is a company that reached out to me and said, would you like to try this? I purchased my Dyson myself. So the Dyson comes in a nice little container like this, and then all of your attachments are inside of there along with your wand. By the way, I'm just getting into this, so let's just dive into it. Before I do, I always get asked what I have on for jewelry for the shirt, all that. All that's going to be listed and linked below. So just look down into the description box, all the makeup I have on, fingernails, jewelry, anything. It'll all be down there for you. I wanted to dive into this because I'm excited, but if you're new here, my name is Melissa. I am 55 years old, about two weeks away from being 56, and I love all things beauty. So if you love fashion, makeup, hair, skincare, all of it, you are in the right place for the over 40 and over 50 woman. We're going to just break this down today and compare these two systems together and see what we can come up with, whether or not we really need to shell out the big bucks for the Dyson, is it that good? Or can we go ahead and use something that is a little bit less expensive? So the Dyson was very innovative when it came out. It was using warm air or hot air in order to go ahead and curl your hair. And it does come with a lot of attachments. So let me just go through these really quickly. I bought mine off of HSN, I think, or QVC. I can't remember which one. And so it's got a few more attachments than it would if you just bought it at Ulta or Sephora. It's got two different brush heads right here. These are basically just straightening. They really don't curl or anything, but they're gonna give you a very, very straight, slick, blow out look and then it does come with a brush right here and my hair is everywhere in these things because at least you know I do use them. So this is a very thin round brush. Normally when you get these round brushes, they're a little bit bigger. I feel like this one, because my hair is just a little bit longer, has a tendency to kind of get my hair a little bit tangled. So I don't use this as much as I probably could. There's also this attachment right here, which I find is really great for giving you a very straightened look, a very sleek look on your hair. And then you have three different wands for curling. There is a very small one, which I think is about three quarters. And then you have a one inch and then you have either a one and a quarter or a one and a half inch barrel on these. What's nice about these is all you have to do is turn the top right here one way or the other and it's going to catch the hair on either side whichever way you want. So if you're flipping your hair back with a curl all you have to do is turn it and it will flip it this way and then you turn the top of it and go the other way on it. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. That is a really nice feature of the Dyson. And then you of course have the attachment itself. It's very easy to put these on and off. The release is right here and it just comes on and off. And then you just go ahead and use that. It does come with three different heat settings. You can cool down or you can go all the way to hot. I have a tendency to try to stay into the middle one, but you can do whichever you want. And it does have three different blow blowing settings. So it has a low, medium, and a high. I will show you that really quickly. So it's on the high right now, and then the medium, and then the low. So it's gonna blow out. And then it has the cool air, and then it has the warm air, and then it has the hot air. So that is the Dyson itself. You get some nice tools there. With the Fentgo, you are getting, and I hope I'm saying that right, I'm probably not, I'm terrible about that kind of stuff. You're getting the wand itself, just like the Dyson, and you have the release, just like the Dyson, for using any of the attachments. There's a couple of big differences here for me, and the biggest one is, for me, the brush head. Now, in the Fent Go, you can see the brush head is so much different. This is a round brush for the Dyson. This is an oval round brush, kind of like the Revlon blow dry styler that we got so much of, which by the way, I don't recommend the Revlon one. It burned the crap out of my hair. I don't recommend that one at all. But with these ones, you can control how much heat you put in there. I love this one because I get a round blowout brush look without ever getting tangled. I do like that a little bit better. And here I'll attach this. You can see how easy that is to attach. It's on there very sturdy. And then you just let go. So it's that little release right there, just like the Dyson. And then you have the on and off switch right here. And then you have the air. And then you have the heat on here. So you can adjust those just like you can on the Dyson. And they do have the three settings 
for the slow, medium, and high air, and then the cool, warm, and then the hot air that comes through here. Another difference with the Dyson versus the Fentco is this attachment right here. This is the directional blow dry attachment that goes on here. Sorry, I almost dropped something. This is nice because this you can just blow dry your hair with it and it's very easy to use and you just go in through the hair. That's one thing that the Dyson doesn't have that I do like about this one is that directional hair dryer on that. When you do the Dyson, you're just kind of blowing your hair from here and you can do that. It's not that big of a deal. And then also on the Fentgo, you have this attachment right here, which to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what this attachment really does that much, except for again, directionally, you know, pointing the air so that you can blow dry your hair. Now here's your number one difference. With the Fentgo, you only get two wands. They're not different sizes. They're one size. And I believe that they're about a one and a quarter inch. And these are directional. So when you're doing your hair, you're gonna need to change this out from one side to the other. And that is really the drawback to the Fentgo. Because with the Dyson, all you have to do is just turn the top knob as you're doing it. Whereas with the Fentgo, you are having to change these out as you go back and forth. And I'm gonna demonstrate this now for you. So my hair is dry, a little bit damp at the roots, but you can do this dry if you want to. You just turn the heat up on it a little bit. And I'm just going to show you how easy this is it is super easy. You don't really need to be trained in it or anything. It does take a little bit to get used to it at the beginning. I should tell you that the whole Dyson system itself is $600. I did get a little bit off of mine, like 20% or something with, with buying it with QVC and then I got the extra attachments. But the Fentco has recently reduced their price. When I originally got it, it was 200 and now they've reduced their price to 140. So 139, which I think is a steal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you for just a second how easy it is just to curl and I'm just going to lightly curl my hair. Gives you a really soft curl. Like I said, if you were wanting to do this side, you'd have to go ahead and take this off and put this attachment on there. So that is the Fentgo one. And then the one from Dyson, I'll go ahead and show you how easy that one is to change sides. This one's a lot quieter too. So I'll show you up here. That's the wrong way. So I'll just show you up here. And it just catches the hair just like the other one. This one probably does a little bit better job of catching the hair, but my hair's longer, so it's a little bit harder. It's kind of harder to do it now. All you have to do with the Dyson is turn this. So I'm just turning it, and now it will take the hair on the other side, and it will just curl that hair from the other side. So that is a really nice feature of the Dyson is you don't have to change out the wand on the actual appliance. I also feel like the Dyson does take a little bit more hair in as it's curling. The Fentgo has a tendency to take less, and so you're spending a little bit more time curling, not a lot. So that's a very light curl, but you get the gist of it. And I do feel like they're very comparable in what they do. There is the biggest one. I do like the biggest barrel on that. It might be just a tiny bit bigger than the one from Fentgo. And Fentgo doesn't have different sizes, like I said. So those are the pros and the cons of each one and the drawbacks. The biggest thing is the price, I feel like. And I also do like the Fentgo's brush on it. This is, makes a blowout very, very easy. And I kind of struggle with the blowout just on the Dyson. However, I do feel like the Dyson might do a better job of curling. Now, 
if your hair is damp, it's going to be a lot easier to curl your hair. I put a very, very light curl in my hair. If you want more curl in your hair, you definitely can get that. Really, it's just about cost in these two and then the different attachments on which one you would like to get. So maybe try this one from Vet Fentco. Amazon does have a great return policy and that's where you get this off of. So I thought I'd bring that to you. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the comparison of the two and how easy it really is to get your hair to do a very easy bend wave on it. My hair is extremely straight. But what's nice about this is especially if you do it on damp hair, you're going to absolutely get your hair to stay all day. If you do it on dry hair, it's a little bit more precarious. I would just use a little bit of spray in it and then go ahead and do it. But these are great systems. Let me know down in the comment section if you have a different system than this. I know that there are a couple other hair systems besides the Dyson and of course the Fent Go. I think Shark has one that everybody loves. So let me know your thoughts on all of this and whether or not you might be thinking about purchasing that. So I think the price is right on the Fent Go. If you've been thinking about it, you've been pining over whether or not to get the Dyson because it is so expensive. So I hope that you're all doing really well and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here and don't forget to subscribe if you're not to my channel that really does help me out with the youtube algorithm hope that everybody is doing well love you bunches see you in my next video goodbye my friends